Hello and welcome friends! Fritzy here bringing you more Kerbal Space Program mod overview. Today we're looking at the improved Chase Camera mod, which for all you flying enthusiasts out there, space plane enthusiasts, this is definitely a mod you're going to want to check out. Uh, we've kind of taken a look at some space planes and some plane stuff lately, which I think is good. I like to cater to both people who like planes, space planes, as well as rockets. Uh, I'm more on the rocket side, but you'll see me here, I'm just kind of flying around and I'm... Um, uh, kind of, this is kind of the standard normal thing you would get when you know you'd play Kerbal Space Program. I mean, you'd have to scroll the mouse around to follow yourself, and if you didn't, you would just you know end up looking in an opposite direction. So the improved chase camera is pretty cool in the sense that it will kind of follow uh, the direction you're heading around. You see, I've just switched over to it now, so that's pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead and go into a turn here. As you see, the camera is following me around. I'm not moving my mouse cursor at all. It's sitting there in the center. And it, so it just follows you around, which is, I think, really, really just a nice little thing that just makes things so much easier because, you know, especially when you're trying to land, you know, and you're worrying about camera angles and just you know, trying to get everything set up perfectly, you know, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. And it's just kind of a neat, neat thing. And you'll see here, you can also get it, uh, I guess, if you're into kind of getting glamour shots, you can keep it... Um, you know, fixed on one point and it will still follow it. So you can still kind of adjust the camera like to where you want it to be for your kind of ideal, I guess, orientation or where, you know, if you're landing, you have to have it set to a certain way maybe. Um, so you can set it that way. It's not like fixed in the sense that you can't, you know, it's just its own view and you can't move it at all, which is really cool. Uh, I'm just kind of flying around. I'm actually pretty much pretty sad and proud of myself. We have a short um, short video because I did it all in one take. So I'm going to go ahead and land it and show you how it can be pretty useful for that. Um, kind of in other news, you may know Kerbal Space Program 1.0. Apparently there's a Kerbal countdown going on. So hopefully we'll be uh, one step closer to you know getting to see some of the stuff we'll get in 1.0. And they actually showed on the Squadcast some of the cool things. And I'm pretty excited for just about everything. Uh, they showed off new heat shields, which I'd say look really, really good. Um, so that's that's pretty cool I, as well as there's some other things like xenon tanks and uh, the fairings they showed off a little bit more which is it's pretty cool so I'm really excited I can't wait to start uh, playing 1.0 a little bit so if if any uh, if there's any indication um, it could be hopefully we'll have it in the next 10 days we, we had like a little spoiler that seemed to indicate there was 11 days yesterday maybe there's 10 today but I guess we'll really find out today depending on uh, what, what they kind of release so stay tuned for that for sure uh, i'm excited and hopefully you are too and we're coming in here again you can see how the improved chase camera makes a big difference uh just being able to you know follow your camera here as i have to do some uh some braking i have no air brake or anything like that so i just kind of have to use some maneuvers to slow myself down a little bit here is uh going a little bit too fast but it works out well you know the shuttle does something similar um much higher up in the air obviously but to kind of break themselves since they don't really have any, you know, a huge method to, to break themselves. They have a little bit more than I do, but you'll see here we touch down beautifully. First take. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and tap that like button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, feel free to subscribe and tell your friends too. I'd love to have them on board as well. And finally, go ahead and drop a comment or suggestion. I want to hear what you guys have to say, so feel free to do so. And I will see you next time.